So this is a uh, subscriber here on the channel uh, that dropped this car off with me a couple days ago. Very nice guy. Uh, his father left it to him. It's only got about 60,000 miles on it. It is a 2010 Mercury Grand Marquis and the windshield wipers didn't work. As you can see, I kind of jumped the gun here because I really want to get started on this project to share some of this information with you guys. But when you turn this turn signal selector switch on and you reach up underneath here, where the wiring harness is at on the down here on an angle underneath all the plastic and stuff you can unclip it it's very hard to get your get your hands gonna get stuck when I started looking in the connector and I could see some of the green fuzzy stuff right there and I was like uh oh I bet you water and stuff got inside that motor and took out that motor because I'm getting power and ground and everything else here the turn signal selectors turning it on and turning it off I can see by the power and, and ground signal in this I need to take this tray and stuff off and inspect this. So there was a series of eight millimeter bolts across it. And then there was a series of screws that go down in it and then slowly kind of take it off and lay the top part over off the side. You can leave your wipers connected. Then you get to the bottom cowl and there's a few 10 millimeter, eight millimeter bolts that hold that on. Take it off with one piece with the purge valve. You don't have to take it off. And when I got to the motor, I was looking down inside the motor and there's all kind of corrosion and stuff inside the motor. Where did I put it? I know I got it over here somewhere. Right here. And you can see the corrosion down inside the connector around the pins and stuff. And I was like, ah, I think, uh, I know we definitely need to put a motor in it. I bet you there's all kind of water and stuff inside here as well. You can pop the cover off of it. And once you pop the cover off of it, you can see the whole circuit panel's all burnt up. And that's common in these Mercury Grand Marquis, the town cars, the... You know, that's just that's how they are. So once I inspected that, I knew I needed a motor. It's burnt up pretty bad. So I went ahead and uh, ordered a motor from CarQuest because everybody else said it's they're really all the same motor. Even the Ford ones are just restamped and rebadged all by the same types of houses. So I was like, you know what? Give me a decent motor for it. So what I had to do is... I had to transfer this motor from the old bracket assembly and just use the motor in the pivot point only. I had to reuse the old pivot point because it wasn't the same. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get everything hooked up and show you guys it working. Here's one of the drains that I always plug up in these that people don't know about. And then it backs up water. Watch this. Look at that. Just falling out of there. And that is down underneath that pivot point. And what will happen is water will build up in here. And it will come across this trough. And it will freeze that motor and stuff up. It will freeze the, freeze the pivot points up. Especially in the town cars. And it will screw it all up. And then once you get everything set in. They don't have to be crazy tight. One there and one there. Now I'm going to blow the rest of it out with air. See, it's nice and tight. And now we can try it. Turn it on. You want to try to turn it on? So what I reused was I reused the old plate underneath here. And I reused one of the screws because they don't quite match up. Same thread though. And then I use this bracket and then transfer it over to this pivot point. Okay? Now the arm that attaches to the pivot point off of the motor that snaps onto it. It's really hard to unsnap it and snap it back on so you're gonna have to use some force you're gonna have to use a pry tool to pop the little arm off and you're gonna have to go ahead and line it up and pop it on with your hand or squeeze really hard with your hand to get it to pop back on there because it's a press fit a uh, compression type fitting uh, it pops on and pops off another thing that you should do too before you even get started with this is make sure this fuse 
right here. One, two, three is good. Because when it burns up, it will blow that fuse as well. Okay, so here we go. There we go. There we go. We're in business now. Beautiful. Okay, we turn it off. We put everything back together. I'm putting the front. People don't remember that you can take this here with your hand and you can actually reach down there where that flap is at and you can move it. See right there? You see how that drain, that trough, goes off to the side? There's a trough down there that that drain drains into. Now watch when I blow air inside this thing, you're gonna see it come out down there. seeing all that debris come out down there you can take like a blow gun or something or take your finger in there and move that little flap if you're if, if you if you're froggy enough I guess you say. okay and we finished putting it together there it is it's uh there it is, it's all done. No matter how many times I have timed, no matter how many times I've timed these wipers, I keep moving that pivot point and retiming it over and over and over again. It keeps the wipers keep ending up right at the same spot, just right above the black line there and a little bit above here. And they just, they keep going back and I keep adjusting it and they keep going back. I'm, a, I'm convinced that this is where they're going and it's not gonna get any better than this from what I'm seeing. Because it's a perfect wipe. It's the same wipe as where it was before, before it came. You know, like, it goes there, and then it goes all the way over, and it stops just right before the edge of the glass, like, you know, this far from the edge of the glass. So, I'm leaving it. Got everything pulled back together. Everything's working now. Show you guys real quick. Good to go. And then this here, just got a clip here. One in the middle, right. and then yeah, now it's one on the other side over here. Yeah. And then it's a metal clip in the center there. The <laughs> and this part right here, I guess whoever was taking it off before, I kind of broke some of the plastic right there, but it's okay. Um, I found it in the front seat, put it back on. Everything. Be careful putting this plastic piece back on because it does have a ridge on the edge of it that needs to fit over the plastic underneath. Some people probably will try to push it on the outside or the inside and you'll break it. It's got... A lip that goes over you can see it if you flip the cover upside down you say oh it looks like something fits inside the middle of that all the way around yeah it sits over the, the single lip underneath there's a double lip on top that goes over that and then it snaps in everything's good uh, so we should be good here all the seal the seal gets tucked up underneath the plastic right here but it's all wore out it's not a it's not critical but I like to put everything back the way it was, as much as possible. Let me put that back. And the last, the last little piece. Done. There's the part number for CarQuest, 40-2074. I appreciate you guys, thank you for watching. Tune in until next time.